Okay, so we're making an antibiotic now. We got we got the cement in here. We got one package, and we put how much? What's the tobermycin cement, right, Mary? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we put a gram of vanco. You can put a gram or two. We use a gram because otherwise it gets a little too thick. So go ahead, put that in there. And often I take a little bit of the powder out, but uh, uh, Paul probably forgot to do that. But it's okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You mix that up, Paul. Okay. We don't vacuum mix because we want it to be porous. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Push there, suck that out. Go ahead, push the button. Okay. And I don't wait. Okay, that's it. Thank you. And I don't wait too long. I just get it right out of there. This is our tube. The phone. This is the ABC mail tube. And it fits on pretty good. Just should fit on like that. There we go. And put that on my gun. And this is the standard striker gun. And then I'm just going to... And I'm just going to put on a fill. And I'm just going to fill the tube up with cement. Just keep going. It might leak a little bit, but it's okay. Even if it leaks a little bit, it's okay. I'm going to fill it up as far as it'll go, right to the top. You see there's a little leak in there. It doesn't matter. That's the perforations so it can break. Okay. There you go. Now it's about as far as I can go. There we go. Now, you're going to give me the nail. This is a pretty long nail, and I'm just going to fire the nail down. And it doesn't matter if the cement comes out like that. That's fine. Okay, it has to go somewhere. So I'm just going to push it all the way to the end. Try not to push it through into the into the uh, cap because then you often get a big chunk. But anyway, that's all you got to do. We're using an eight millimeter nail, and the tube makes it 11 millimeters. Okay, and you notice we don't have it on the top. Uh, this is a very long nail. This is a 435. This guy's tibia is gargantuan. Very long. So we just have to get the bottom. And I don't mind if the cement goes into the holes. I can still lock it. As long as it interdigitates in the holes, then we don't have any delamination of the cement from the nail. That's how we prevent delamination. It actually goes inside the nail. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use a cannulate. I'm not gonna use a guide wire to, to push it through. I'm just gonna wait. Up. You good? Nah. Yeah, I'm just going to take this off and I'm just going to make sure that the nail isn't through and it's not. You see that? So the nail hasn't gone past the end. Because if it goes past the end, sometimes it's a problem. This whole thing fills up with cement and then you have to, you have to break the cement off the nail. But otherwise, this is good. And the nails we use are usually uh, 8 or 9 millimeter because the, the inner diameter of the tube is 11, so it makes a perfect 11 millimeter nail. It isn't going to stick to it. And I can tell here that this is nice and hard. So adhere to. And so I'm just going to sit there. Maybe you want to hold the bottom. Paul, hold the bottom there. No, nope, just hold the bottom there. And I'm just going to do this, and that just comes right off. And there you go. And from the bottom, it just does this. There you go. There it is. Let me show it close up. Now the lock and holes are covered, but I can lock this uh, right through the uh, right through the cement, and you can see it on X-ray, and I'll show you pictures of that. Question is, is it evenly distributed on the nail? It's not. Uh, we have little spacers that can do that, but I don't use them because I don't think it really matters. I think the outer diameter is 11, and uh, that's it. So just a little trimming. That's it. You see the end of it? It's full of cement. This is full of cement. It's kind of uneven, but that really doesn't make any difference. The nail is pretty smooth, and you can see the chunks of antibiotics in it.